All right, guys, I'm here. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to show you how to transfer a file from your PC to your Commodore with Wi-Fi modem uh, using um, a terminal program on the PC and a terminal program running on your Commodore. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need to download a program. Uh, you can use other ones. This is the one I'm using for this demonstration called CG Term. Okay. Pretty simple. I've got it open here on my desktop. Also, to make things easier, I've downloaded a, I've got tons of games downloaded to this SD card. And I recommend an SD card for transferring, but if you don't have it, this is a way you can transfer program files. And there's a lot of games that are in program uh, format that you can transfer over to your Commodore 64 that only has a Wi-Fi modem and a floppy drive, okay? So, um, as you see here, these are all games that are in program format. All of them. All right? So what you're going to do, my suggestion is take your program, put it in the CG term folder. It's going to make it easier and quicker to navigate when we're transferring, all right? So first thing we're going to do is make sure our program's in there. BC Bill, there it is. Um, I also have Beachhead. This will be the one that we're transferring. You see, I took a while out all the special characters. It makes it easier to read on the Commodore 64 if you get rid of all those special characters. Just make sure you leave the program extension on there. So you can just uh, do like that right there. And it's best to have it in all lowercase. Makes it easier to read on the Commodore. Okay? So there we go. All right, so we're going to start up CG Term. All right, now go into our Commodore. We're going to start up our terminal program on our Commodore, which I'm using CCGMS, my Wi-Fi modem. When you start it up, initialize the modem with return. We've got our IP address, okay? So that's what we need, our IP address. We're connected on the same network. So we're going to hit Escape to go into the menu, D to dial, enter the IP address. And then the port number of the Wi-Fi modem. My Wi-Fi modems, by default, are 6400. Okay, now if you look over at your Commodore, you should see we got a ring from the PC and it's connected at 9600 baud. Okay, now back to the PC. All right, hit Escape. Now we're going to hit T to transfer, all right? S to send the file. The protocol we're going to use is X modem. You can use other ones. I'm just using X modem for the demo. Return. Now we're going to look for our program file. We got BC Bill R Beachhead. Let's do uh, Beachhead. Highlight it. Hit return. Now go to your Commodore. Now we need to uh, make sure that we are in X modem to receive the file. Press F7. Check protocol. It's X modem. Return. We're back to the graphics terminal. Press F3 to receive the file. Type the name you want to save the game as. It is a program. So hit P. And now it should start receiving the program. Okay, now it's at 9,600 bots. So you can see it's moving pretty quick. Shouldn't take too long. We'll let it run through it. And like I said, this is a pretty simple way until you get your SD card reader for your Commodore to transfer program files, sequential files. You cannot transfer a D64 because if you only have a floppy, the D64 is gonna be bigger than your floppy. It will not work right, so you can't do it. But the program file should transfer right over and you can play the game using the program file. See, this thing is flying. <laughs> this is old school, but it'll get it done. So it's not quick, no. But, like I said, for people that got a little, you know, limited equipment, this will let you transfer stuff to start off with. And a lot of the, um, uh, you know, uh, tools and, and uh, things like that for the Commodore. So if you don't have CCGMS to start off with um, and you got another terminal program you had on your floppy disk, it should work also. And so that will let you run it off your floppy disk uh, you can even upgrade to CCGMS. Okay, now that sound just means it's over. And we should be done. We don't have any errors. 
everything looks good. Okay, so now, let's check to make sure. I'm gonna disconnect. Oops, I didn't do it. Okay, so let's make sure it did download over here. Check my directory. Shouldn't be a bunch of stuff on here. There it is, beachhead. Let's see if it'll run. I have no clue. Mm, not really. I might have not done it correctly. Who knows? Started it correctly. Um, might have to do something else special, but let's try. Let's see. Might just have to load it regular. Anyway, it did transfer. I don't know how to start the program. Let's go start up a 128 mode now. Uh, crack from tape. I don't know if you have to type in an SYS. There we go. There we go. It's working now. Okay, so we got the... And there it is. The game's working. Awesome. So see, that's a pretty effective way to transfer uh, any type of files. You can't transfer the D64s now, but with regular program files, sequential files, anything like that you want to take a look at and you don't have your SD card reader, this will work. Uh, it's quick and easy. You know, it's not terribly difficult, but it's not easy per se. But if you follow the little steps, you should uh, be able to do it and it should help some of you guys out.